and yes, he wanted to send him from the Nino to the church in a modest effort and way just for three minutes. Isa din sa nina ng mamaya. Ano gusto niya? Magkuruman ka lang kung sino. Sino ang sanino ang gusto? Pag-in carriage. Three minutes na. Kay Heifer, at saka kay May. Okay? Volunte. Isa na. Isa na representative din mamaya sa mga nina. Yes, sir. For three minutes, let's listen from Nino. Okay, Heifer? In May, ready? You know, but asking your girl to say, is it? Oh, I need to know. I mean, my girlfriend. Yes, yes. If her and the main, we had to, we had to, she go to, and the other one, we had to, we had to, This is a celebration. There is no law that bound us here. But I slightly disagree to our most reverend pastor because everything is bound by the law. Marriage as defined in the family group is a special contract of a permanent union between a man and a woman in accordance with law in order to establish a family and conjugal life. It is the foundation of the family and an inviolable social institution whose consequences nature and incidents are not subject to stipulations by the parties. Except fixing uh, marriage settlements as to the proper relations among the two. Okay? So it is the ordinary modata, special modata, between a man and a woman. Kasi walang marriage ng man and man and woman and woman. Transgender, transsexual, in other countries, same-sex marriage, okay, in the Philippines, no same-sex marriage, okay? And remember also, I, everything about love has been explained to you by our most reverend pastor. What I am telling you are what are prohibited and what are uh, allowed by the law. During your marriage, you are under the law, under the family code. Both of you are obliged to give mutual respect, mutual love, mutual support. Okay? What are prohibited? You are not allowed to violate the public act 9262 or the violence against women and children's act. Penalty, uh, 615. Six months and one day to 15 years in prison. Okay? Huwag mong saktan si May. Huwag niyong dalawa kayo saktan ang mga anak niyo later. Eh, paano parang hindi patas? Eh, paano yung si Eber kung saktan ni May? Mag-file na lang ng physical injuries. Okay? Slide or great or less great physical injury. Ano ka pang bawal? Uh, pag nakita niyo yung aeroplano na rumilipad na overloaded, bawal yun. Ibig sabihin, yung aeroplano, well, you are both in the airport o si May lang. Ah, si May. So alam mo, yung aeroplano na overloaded habang rumilipad, pag merong nakakabit. So bawal magkabit. Okay? If the wife Ah, maggabit should be uh, violating the law. That is adultery. Kung si Ifer naman ang maggabit, he is bound by the law and penalized uh, committing a violation of concubinage. Okay? So, pre-imprisonment din. Ano ba ang uh, 
bawal. Yung sabi ko sa marriage definition, conjugal ay wala pang three minutes. <laughs> manok, okay. manok start the pala. property test accumulated during the marriage is a conjugal property. Hati kayo niya. But yung property na namana ni Ember sa kanyang parents, o yung property na namana ni Itame, yung Chris Tame, yung Kodyo Tame, no? sa kanyang parents, that is paraphernal property. So pwede mong ibenta kahit walang consent. Si Ember, no? vice versa. But if it is a conjugal property, kailangan may consent ang isa bago nyo i-dispose yung property. Okay? Tanda niya yan. So ito siya sabi ko, hindi na ito para sa kanila, para rin sa lahat na mga bibirin nyo. And uh, of course, ang batas natin, marami yan. Natural law, physical law, moral law, divine law. Yan ang sabi ni Pastor. What is the first law? Thou shalt not eat this forbidden law. Eh, nang violate silang nalawa. Si Adam and Eve. And Adam, while eating, was caught on the act or in flagranti delicto. Kaya napakaan si Adam. That is the story of the Adam's apple. Okay. Eh, sabi ng Diyos, Why did you eat the forbidden fruit? He did not explain. Silence means acquiescence. So, penalty, layas. This chero. Ang dyan pa rin sa revised penalty dyan. Okay. So, <clears throat> yung uh, first law natin, ang divine law, we have also ten commandments. Okay. Nandiyan yan sa Bible na binigay ni Mr. Reverend Trump. Basahin nyo yan. Okay. Sa so, New Testament, dalawa na lang ang batas. Love God above all things. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Kaya maraming pag tinignan kung anak ka, ang tatay at nanay, kung sino nga tatay at nanay mo, tingnan mo sa salamin. Pagkabukha ka ng kapitbahay mo, uh, love your neighbor. Business. So, I hope you don't do that. Okay? Both of you. <coughs> so, yung marriage, sabi nga, if you know Winston Churchill, yung World War I, sabi ni Winston Churchill, this war is a very tough war. There will be joys and sorrows. There will be failures and success. There will be ups and downs. But one thing must be sure. No withdrawal. Kasi bawal na lang pa. You deprive your uh, sons and daughters of their right to live in this world. So remember, under our constitution, no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, and property without due process of law, nor shall anyone deny the equal protection of the law. Kaya respetuhin natin. Kaya yung mga nandito rito, halimbawa sa drugs enforcers, sa PNP na nandito, pag kumukuha sila ng search warrant sa akin, sinasabihan ko talaga, respect life. Huwag yung patayin din sa yung tao. Okay? Kasi the right to life is inherent. Right? Okay? Wala kang kong patan na punin yung buhay ng tao. Okay? Kaya we have the law. Okay? We abide by the rule of law. Okay? Iturn over nyo yung mahuli ninyo. Kasi he is presumed innocent until and proven guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Let the court do the job. Not your, huwag mo ilagay yung batas sa kamay mo. So, so ipaya sana magiging at saka may law-abiding citizens kayo. Yung simple traffic rules na doon tayo. Yung simple pila, pila tayo. Kung mo congressman ka, you know, sampalin mo na lang yung waiter. It's not in way, no? So, um, ibig ko lang sabihin, ang point is, yung uh, pag-aasawa, 
ay pag-iingin yan na yan. Wag akong baba. Wag. Wag ito. Uh, yung tao nito, yung siga ka. Eh ako sa bahay, yung salita ko, batas. Sinusunod yan. Pag sabi ko maglalaba ako, maglalaba ako yan. Magsasayang ako, magsasayang ako. Uuwi ako ng maga, uuwi ako. Nasusunod. Salamat. Thank you po. Thank you po. Ito na tawag natin, under, no? Understanding. Kung sinabi mo maglaba ka, talaga naglaba ka. That's beautiful. That's the practical and the legal implications of marriage. And for me, for me as a theology professor, for me, he is. Hindi mo lang alaman talaga na yung pangilang sapong ko na nagpapat sa hinam. Thank you. Well, I understand that you are Marriage is not only spiritual, but also very legal. And when I say it, it's the paradox of saying that what I'm going to talk about something is by smiling. Okay, I'm conscious of the meaning of the ethos. Kaya nga, next time, the next part is signing of the marriage contract. Later. Mina, mayroon na ba kayong nabibig? May nabisib na ba? Ang ganda naman ngayon, ganda ng adjudition, ang legal, Huwag talagang magkabit, no? 